having a little evening walk at Terradale Park. Oh, there goes Millie. That's top speed for her. Try and keep them off the cricket pitch. I know the groundsman doesn't appreciate them going on there. Beautiful day. Millie stole some crumpets. Angus is about to go and accost some pigeons. They all live in that big palm tree there. He bothers them every time. You can only imagine the smells under that tree that he likes to roll in. Angus is on a scent. Pretty sure it's just Millie. But he's been scenting like no tomorrow. If there's something he really wants to get to, he starts to whine. Maybe someone left some lunch behind somewhere and Angus is looking for her. That saggy face. Very good boy, he didn't steal the crumpet. Can't possibly have been Millie. So we're only putting it down to one of the neighbour's pets, probably a cat. I can hear a little dog barking somewhere over there, making the hounds very alert. Thankfully, they don't bark back. We've got a few barking dogs in the neighbourhood. We actually quite like to hear dogs barking. Some people might describe it as a nuisance. And thankfully, our hounds don't contribute to said nuisance. Millie's going to have a lie down. Angus might even have a lie down. There's one piece of brisket each left for when we get home. Do you like brisket, Angus? Do you like brisket? The brisket for good boys? Oh, I'll definitely get you a piece then. What about you, Millie? If, did you have some treats already? Hounds met a little... Don't know what it was, a little curly-haired terrier of some description. They were pretty excited to meet them and their owner. Mally looking as alert as ever. Good girl. Sun's going down. Be dark very soon. Gets real cold when the sun goes down. Spring's a really nice time in Hawke's Bay. They tell me we're in for a super hot summer. There'll be lots of visits to the river for swimming. We just met a lady who wanted to come and meet the hounds and she told us her surname is Bassett and she had a Bassett hound when she was a kid. 
Don't roll in that, please. And don't fall in that creek, in that pond, please. Right here is where Angus fell in when he was a pup. And then again, about 12 months later. I'd love to say he's learned his lesson, but I think that's unlikely. Plenty to sniff here. Lots of duck poo. He's just had a bath after his mud adventure, and I would hate for him to fall in that pond. Millie has found something to roll in. Don't fall in. <laughs> it's not very deep. But in Bassett dimensions, it probably is quite deep. I have to go in and pull them out. We're back on leash. I didn't realise there was a whole gaggle of ducklings. I don't really want the hounds bothering them. Millie will leave them alone, but I'd not certain Angus wouldn't bother them. Little chihuahua over the way here, telling us all about it. Angus is smelling something. Pulling that leash pretty tight. Millie's got me tangled up. Come on, you guys. You want some brisket, Angus? Millie likes to go and see the community garden because she found tomatoes there once. Angus really pulling that leash. He must be on a real scent. What are you smelling, Angus? Nothing important. It's important to have. 